If you have tall trees, then you have shade. Shady plants are a wonderful addition to any garden, bringing cool elegance to your property. Hi, I'm Kristen Schleider, Curator of Outdoor Gardens and Herbaceous Collections at the New York Botanical Garden. I'm here in our new azalea garden, where we grow thousands of wonderful shade plants. Just about everybody has a shady spot in their garden at home that they would like to look just as beautiful as the sunny places. I'm going to show you a few of my favorite plants for those shady places sure to make your garden the envy of everyone. This is Hosta Blue Mouse Ears and it's one of my favorites for a shady spot. As it matures, it's going to get about 18 inches wide and maybe 6 inches tall or so and it has wonderful spikes of lavender flowers that have beautiful shape to them as well. The foliage changes shape as it matures and right here you can see it's sort of um, a long shape but as it matures it turns into a beautiful perfect heart and the veins are very prominent it's really a gorgeous gorgeous thing for the shade and perfect to put right at the front of the border where it can soften the edge of a path this is Bezia deltophila and it's a little hard to find but it's well worth seeking out it has gorgeous glossy leaves with venation that pops out and just makes it have so much texture it's hardy in zones 6 to 8, and it's even evergreen the warmer you are. It has beautiful, tall spires of white star-shaped flowers late in the spring, and it spreads slowly to about 18 inches across. It's the perfect thing for that moist, shady spot. In a shade garden, since flowers don't seem to be quite as spectacular as in a sunny garden, foliage is really important. And this is one of my favorite unusual perennials to bring really dynamic foliage into the shade. This is called Dynanthes cerulea. And look at this leaf. It's quilted and green and with that really unusual fork at the end. It's a hydrangea relative and has a similar habit. Stems get to about two feet and it clumps up slowly, getting larger year after year. The wonderful cool blue flowers appear in clusters late in the summer and accent the gorgeous quilted foliage beautifully. It's the perfect plant to have in any shady garden. This is Hosta Summon Substance and it's really one of my favorites. It looks like it's going to be a large plant just from this pot, but by the time you put it in the ground and it's been in for a couple of years, it's going to be six or even eight feet across. The leaves are at least a foot across and the leaves are so thick that slugs can't get through them. The plant is so thick that weeds can't grow through it. And it is just a beautiful way to lighten up any shady garden. So these are just a few of my favorite plants for shady places, but there's much more out there to find. So when you're looking to plant up your shady garden, go to the nurseries, go online, find the perfect plants for you. And a wonderful place to look is nybg.org.